my learning cluster is on um, one initiative that we're starting. We're revamping all of our education at GE Digital for our APM product into something we call the APM Academy. And it's broken down into about seven different topic areas. And we're focusing on mechanical integrity first because we actually have a customer willing to partner with us on this initiative. One thing that's a little bit different about what I do than what the rest of you have talked about for the most part is that we are very much focused on customer education as an external for sale commodity. So my SPO is, is focused on how we, and so my team is focused on driving adoption of our software products through our educational products. So my SPO is by improving the adoption of GE Digital's APM integrity suite of tools for mechanical integrity, oil and gas customers, which is one of our business, business focuses. The business will benefit by increased renewals and positive feedback from customers on understanding and application of the tool suite. On the job, we will see customers articulate the benefits of the tool suite accurately for their context, share confidence in applying the tool suite strategically for their context, choose the learning assets that will empower them to learn the tool suite most efficiently, explain the inefficiencies and ineffectiveness of how they usually do things and their vision of how that will change using the tool suite, and then actually use the tools and the modules, transform their program from time-based to condition-based. And what that means is, Instead of doing their maintenance programs, for example, on a time-based every three months, they will do them based on usage, for example, or the condition of the equipment. So thinking about your car, instead of changing your oil every three months, you change your oil every 5,000 miles, whether that happens in five weeks or five months or whatever. And then querying and retrieving data efficiently from the GE Digital APM database. While doing all of this, we are keeping the benefits of the tool suite itself front of mind for our customers and why our customers are actually buying our tools so that they will, we make sure that everything that they learn is focused on helping them get the business benefits out of it. I identified quite a few learning personas. I focused on five briefly here. We have Temporary Timmy. Temporary Timmy, Timmy is a contract employee who's hired to assist simply with the data collection. He is used to recording his data on spreadsheets and drawings and on pieces of paper. He's educated on the equipment. He's certified to inspect that equipment, that equipment and is considered an expert on the equipment, but he has no loyalty to the company who is our customer. He may be under contract again later, but this may also be a one and done contract for him. And he is part of a very large population of short-term employees who actually affect the business outcomes for the company while not maybe being specifically drawn to, to the topic at hand that he has to learn. Steadfast Stan is a, is a company employee who plans, schedules, and collects equipment data. So he is generally experienced as his job, but he is still transitioning from paper records to digital records. He has lots of tribal knowledge about the equipment for which he's responsible, but he is very reluctant to move to digital records for fear it will make him superfluous and unneeded. He does some of the same activities that Temporary Timmy does, but he is actually a company employee. Analyst Anna is a company employee who's responsible for evaluating and applying all the data that Stan and Timmy collect. She is typically a college graduate with an engineering background, and she is transitioning from doing her analysis and spreadsheets to APM. And she needs to have some understanding of the tribal knowledge that they have, as well as the company policies for how they manage their equipment, on top of being able to actually perform her analyses. Supporting those three roles are support engineer Susie. One minute. She works at my company and is responsible for supporting customers. She doesn't necessarily need the deep background on mechanical integrity, but she needs a deep background on the software. And administrator April doesn't need to understand it at all. She works for the customer company, um, but she needs to be able to configure it. We are also considering the sales teams and success managers in our future personas. For our learning assets, we have largely a huge catalog of ILT training that takes about 90 days for people to get through. So we are in the process of trying to move this from being a much more formal into a more immediate and social environment. We're leveraging existing forums. We are developing e-learning out of our ILT, as well as adding a lot of quick resources. One that I want to highlight that I think has the opportunity to really move things forward is this improvement dashboard. This would be something that the customers can see that lets them see that the education that they're receiving and the training they're receiving is being translated into on-the-job behaviors by their employees and moving from that time-based to condition-based work and monitoring. And then lastly, I have a lot of KPIs here, but I really want to focus for us internally. We're really focused on seeing people use our software. 
So we are looking at having a tracking using the system, how many people are logging into the system, how many people are acti actively accessing the MI tools, and really just trying to drive that up from a company that is transitioning from very little usage. They spend a lot of money on it, but they don't use it very much to getting about 75% usage. And then to transform from time-based to risk-based, we want to actually see a 10% improvement month over month. So actually see them transitioning. And I still have to research what the industry balance is between time-based and risk-based because it's not all or nothing. On some of the end of, on the individual learning assets, looking to increase posts and the active conversations in the forums, and then looking at net promoter scores for a lot of the individual assets themselves.